Okay. So, we're going to do algebra and memes. memes. And we're going to start with some more complex questions. Memes. You know what's really important for more complex questions? The, the switchover method. That's... You can call it the switchover method if you want. Yeah, you can call it whatever, whatever method makes you remember. Normally, we do bed mass from the top down. We start with brackets. We go all the way down to subtraction, right? Even though this one and this one and this one and this one are kind of interchangeable. But now we're going to do bed mass from the bottom up. Or if you want to call it the switcheroo method. Is that what you call it, the switcheroo method? The switch up method. The switch up. I like it. Now, take a look here. We have Sparta plus 7 in brackets, divided by 5 in bigger brackets, plus 3 over here. Normally, in bed mass, what's the first thing we tackle? What's the first brackets. thing we would do in this equation? The brackets. That's right. The outer brackets or the, the innermost brackets first? Innermost. That's right. We would tackle the innermost brackets first. But you know what? That's what we're going to do last. So watch this. The last thing There's we would... no... So now, the first would be addition. Yes! Right here. 3 plus Sparta plus 7. Now, let's not forget how we get rid of signs and different arithmetic operations. Seven? Do we get rid of the seven? The innermost brackets we tackle last. Oh. Because we're switching bed mass. We're flipping it upside down. How about... We do the plus three first. How do you get rid of plus three? Plus three? How do you get rid of plus three? Subtract. That's right. How, so what are we going to do this side? Three minus... Three. Beautiful. And what do we do over here? Five minus three. Equals two. Fantastic. Okay. So now, now what we can do two. is we can say Sparta. It's two. What does it equal on this side, like you already said? Two. Very good. You were just too quick for me. No, hang on. No, 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 no. Wait for your video. Okay. I see who's who play. Now watch. Did you see something disappear? What happened to these square brackets? Where did they go? Because they're not in this one, are they? Do you know where they went? I think we do them. They're actually still there. If you want, you can put them in. But you know what? We don't need them anymore. You know why? Why? As soon as square brackets or any brackets are around a whole side of an equation, you can just get rid of them. You don't need them anymore. If they're around the whole equation, we can just get rid of them. Isn't that nice? Yes. It's beautiful. Okay. I say Lucy would like. Sukoyori. What does that mean? It means sit down, please. In what language? French. That's the only thing I learned in French. Now. What about bonjour, bonjour, the what? I guess I did kind of learn that. Well, not that exactly, but something similar. Anyway, check this out. In bed mass, what would you normally do for this equation? What was the first thing you would do? No, nope. what's the first thing you would do on this side? Do the addition. So two because it's in the brackets, but we're flipping bed mass upside down to solve algebra divide equations. Seven, what about divided by five? That's the next thing we're going to do. Normally we would do inside the brackets, but for algebra we're going to do the last thing we would normally do for bed mass. The last thing is outside the brackets. Brackets is number one. Division is plus all the way seven. down here at number three. Plus seven. 
Nope, plus seven's inside the brackets. So we're gonna get rid of the divide by five. How do we get rid of it divide? Times. That's right, so what are we gonna do here? Make a divide by five times five. Beautiful. What are we gonna do here? Do two times five. Fantastic. So I'm gonna rewrite over here. And two times five is ten. Two times five is ten. Very good. Now we're just about done, aren't we? Hey, what happened to the brackets? They are gone. Why are they gone? Because we don't need them anymore. Why do we need them anymore? Because we already did it. We already did it. And the brackets are on the whole side, aren't they? The brackets would be right here. But if they, if they cover the whole side, we can just get rid of them. No need for those brackets anymore. That's because we went, is the switch room, the switch up method. That's right. It's because part of the switch up method. When you use or the part switch of up method. method, it can delete the brackets. Yeah, the switch up method's kind of nice. Or so we'll call it. Now, Sparta plus 7 equals 10. There's only one more thing we have to do. What is it we have to do? What's the last step? So, the last step is to find out what, it, what equals 5. It's so not what equals 5. This is all we have left. Minus 5. Why 5? Because it equals 5. 5 up here, but that 5 changed to a 2, and now it's changed to a 10. Oh. Yeah. We always work at the line that we're at. This would be the first line. Oh, yeah. This would be the second line. This would be the third line. Let's just focus on the third line. It's a 2 and 3 is 10. What do we do to the left-hand side? What do we do to the left-hand side? I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's only one arithmetic operation left. What is it? Addition. Subtraction. That's right. So we get rid of it by? Subtract. Very good. What are we going to subtract? We're going to subtract Sparta. Just we need to leave Sparta. You know why? Oh, seven. Minus seven. Eight. Very good. Because we need Sparta by itself in order to figure out what it is. Sparta equals something. Three. It does equal three. You know why? Why? Because you already told me minus seven on this side. What's on this side? Ten. Ten? Ten? We did minus seven over here. What are we going to do over here? We minus seven. Very good. What's ten minus seven? That would equal three. Perfect. Now, <laughs> you know what's also really cool about algebra? What's also cool about algebra? We know Sparta equals three, don't we? We can put that back into line number one. So let's try it. Let's try it using bed mass the normal way. Top down. So three plus seven is? Is ten. Ten? Five by five equals minus fifty. Ten divided by five. Five? Good guess. You can use this if you want. Ten. Ten divided by oops. Ten divided by five goes over two. 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 Very good. So we have two for all of this. And our last step. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is everything inside these brackets plus 3 equals 5 Did we get it right? Bro hoof